Before photography, illustrators brought fashion to life. A century of fashion illustration is now being celebrated at a new exhibition here in New York. And Anthony Mason is here with the story. Anthony. Good morning. First full disclosure, this story is personal for me. My late stepfather, Henry Kohler, started as a fashion illustrator working for magazines like Vogue and Town and Country in the 50s and 60s. One of his drawings is included in the new exhibition at the Society of Illustrators here in New York. Fashion illustration, of course, was usually commercial work, but these illustrators also had an art all their own, an art that the exhibition shows is alive and well. That's perfect. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Bill Donovan started sketching as a boy and knew what he wanted the moment he saw Audrey Hepburn sweep into a ballroom in a Givenchy gown in the 1954 film Sabrina. To me, you know, she was a swan floating across the floor. And I wanted to draw that. I didn't want to take a picture. I didn't want to design it. I wanted to draw it. Donovan, now artist in residence at Christian Dior Beauty, has drawn for Vogue and Vanity Fair. How many pieces in the exhibition? Uh, 63 pieces. And he's co-curator of the new exhibition, Fashion Illustrators, The Visionaries, at the Society of Illustrators in New York. What do you see in these works? Oh, God, I see passion. I just see the love of, of line and color and shape and energy and flair. Putting all those pieces together to make work, to me, that is like visual poetry. The exhibit looks at a century of illustration, starting with early giants like Carl Erickson, who worked for Vogue for more than 40 years, beginning in 1916. And René Boucher, who sketched many CBS greats like Jack Benny and Edward R. Murrow, but was best known as a fashion illustrator. The greats all had a distinct style, like this Todd Draz drawing from the 1950s. I mean, look at the feathered hat. It's, it's chaotic, it's energized. Yeah. It's one of my favorite drawings. Or Joe Eula, Halston's creative director, who dashed off this sketch of Martha Graham. The brilliance of it is the spontaneity, the energy, and you could feel her dancing, you could feel her moving. Women illustrators were rare in women's fashion, but Barbara Perlman broke through. I love this piece because she's striking and she's staring right back at you. Some of these illustrators became real stars. Most of them are stars. Most of them are legendary. Almost every single person we selected has a legacy. Like Glenn Tunstall, who made his name drawing for the fashion Bible Women's Wear Daily in the early 1970s. And I found people recognized me. Mm -hmm. I would even get fan mail. You don't know how they knew. No. But they knew. They knew. <laughs> Tunstall, who came from Detroit, was a pioneer. I was there as the first black illustrator at Women's Wear. Was that your dream job? Yes. I think it was everyone's that was a fashion artist. What makes a great fashion illustrator? It's this fluency with drawing whereby not only can you draw what you see, but you can easily exaggerate. Is it also drawing what you feel? And drawing what you feel. You bring your personality, yourself into it. The commercial options for illustrators have dwindled, with photographers replacing them on the runway and magazines in decline. Is the magazine market pretty much gone? I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Fashion illustrator Sarah Singh. It still exists because people want to do it, and I want to do it. Why do you want to do it? Because it's fun. <laughs> I've had it ever since I was little that I need to draw. It's an addiction. Singh, who works quickly in ink, will then scan her illustrations and alter them in the computer. She's drawn for Vogue, El Decor, and Tiffany, and also shows her work on her Instagram page. When you get your work published online, it's up forever before it might just end up in the dentist's office. You get appreciated. Yes, you get appreciated. Not fed, but appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Singh says Bill Donovan is one of a new generation of illustrators keeping the craft alive. A lot of people don't take this seriously as art, but I bet you see it as art. I see it as art. And I've always seen it as art. It's a special form of art that doesn't exist anywhere else. And just sit back. My intent is to capture a moment. I can just draw your face. <laughs> when a woman walks into a restaurant and she's beautiful and she just quietly turns over her shoulder and gives a glance, it's so alluring. 
And that's what I try to capture, that essence, that spontaneous moment that happens. There's an intimacy that is created when, when you're drawing live. I think people want some of that back. It's so interesting what's happened to fashion illustration. It, it, it's become, uh, there's a new sort of interest in it in part because it's it's disappearing to some degree. Yeah. You know, it, it's like the photograph replaced it, but the photograph is also helping bring it back because it's so unusual now. Well, it's this, almost new again. Yeah, it is almost new again. This exhibit at the Society of Illustrators runs through March 7th. Uh, it's, by the way, that place is, a, is a, like a hidden gem of New York. Yeah. Uh -huh. You go up the stairs and there are old book illustrations and magazine illustrations from the last 50 years. It's a fabulous place and I encourage you to go if you're here. Tell us what you felt when you saw your stepfather's picture up or drawing. Well, I grew up with them. So it's like, you know, if you walk out the front door at CBS, to the left of that yes. front door here, there's a drawing of Edward R. Murrow that's by Rene Boucher, who we mentioned in this piece. I knew who Rene Boucher was because my stepfather told me <laughs> when I was growing up. And I was like, oh, that's that guy he told me yeah, about. Right. So I have this connection to this thing, which is fairly unusual, but it comes from being surrounded by this. He was, my stepfather was drawing all the time, I, you know? I can't believe that there's any question as to whether this is art, because it is such a beautiful way of capturing yeah. a moment. But as you said, you get that emotion from, and it's your emotion that you're bringing into it. People think if something is commercial, it can't be art. Yeah. But all of these illustrators Gorgeous. had an art. Thanks no again. Question. Yep. Oh, glad to have you, Anthony. Nixon. Nice to be here. <laughs>